Yeah, it was really great to be in, you know, with such great people, discussing player care, sharing ideas from all industries and different sports at different levels, and uh, certainly will take a lot of positives away from today. Mental health needs to be top of the list. It's the most important thing. So getting players in a good mental state means they're going to fit in better in the team environment, means they're going to be better in training, means they're going to be better on field. Um, I'm here to, at the Iowa Mitchell event because it's covering some really interesting topics, talking about player welfare, legal welfare and kind of life after sport. It's just a really interesting field that I'd love to know more about and I'm excited to hear, hear about it. I mean, I think the fact that Erwin Mitchell are doing this player welfare conference is so important. And I think for me, talking about what happens after sport and having that conversation more open is something that I had not really heard so much before, being open about actually what you can do, what the potential is after sport. And athletes have so many amazing characteristics. That's why they're the top of their game. And so to bring that into other environments, into working environments, I mean, it's mutually beneficial for everyone involved. I think the most important thing that needs to happen in elite sport is partly to recognise how far we've come. I retired 10 years ago and there was nothing. The only thing that happened to me after the day I retired was to sign a form saying I, didn't, I wasn't eligible for drugs testing anymore. Whereas now, when athletes retire, there's this whole package of support that they can access, potentially for up to a year or, 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 or more beyond that. Listening about the player care, I went through my, my challenges as a young player, you know, coming to, to UK without speaking the language, you know, integrating yourself into a dressing room, make, making sure you understand the culture. That's what is important about the athletes, making sure you understand the environment they're in and how important is communication. And if you don't have the support, it's very difficult to make the right moves and to do the right things in one team environment. So I came along because I was really intrigued to see the diversity of the audiences that were going to be attending today. It's been a real um, experiment for Owen Mitchell to look at all three audience groups, our corporates, our affluent wealth and our seriously injured and vulnerable players in this sports environment and to see the brilliance of how each of the speakers has resonated in a very different way with each of the different, different audiences has been really fascinating. I've talked to hundreds of our clients and referrers over the course of the day and they've all taken something very different away but something very valuable. I think the two overriding comments I've heard are just about the quality of the speakers but also the, the bravery of Owen Mitchell to tackle a topic like player welfare that is obviously at the forefront of many minds in this industry. We had some really engaging speakers that are kind of pushing boundaries in terms of what player welfare actually means. It ranges from, from everything to making sure the players uh, kind of domestic setup is is well tuned to what they need, so making sure their housing is right, making sure that their kids are looked after, making sure that they're comfortable with their with their own family life, and they have everything they need, all the way through to looking at the the real detailed. Um, mental health aspects of being a, an elite athlete as well. Oh, the conference one sentence, I'd say it's been uh, really insightful, uh, exciting to see so many like-minded people come together, it's really interesting. <laughs>